My name is Rajesh Anapalai and I am the Product Marketing Engineer for Communications Interface Products at Texas Instruments. Today, I am going to discuss TI's LV PECL, PECL, ECL, Buffer Family. PECL stands for Positive Emitter Couple Logic and it typically uses 5 volts and ground supply voltage. LV PECL stands for Low Voltage Positive Emitter Couple Logic and it typically uses 3.3 volts and ground supply voltage. There are many differential signaling technologies available today, such as LVDS, MLVDS, CML, and PECL. Each of these technologies were developed for different application requirements to address different signaling rates. For example, LVDS is a low voltage signaling standard that is defined by TIA EIA 644 for high speed, low power needs. The standard specifies a theoretical maximum of 2 gigabits per second signaling rates. On the other hand, PECL focuses on ultra high speed signaling needs. Typically, PECL can handle from 1 gigabits per second to 5 gigabits per second signaling rates. Now, let us discuss the characteristics of LVDS and PECL signals as summarized in the table. LVDS provides the smallest swing of 350 millivolts and a common mode range of plus or minus 1 volt around its VOS. As a result, LVDS has limitations when trying to drive high frequency signals over a given media. On the other hand, PECL provides a wider output voltage swing between 700 to 800 millivolts and a higher common mode levels, typically 3.6 volts for a 5 volt supply voltage. These characteristics make the technologies more suitable for applications that need to transmit data at higher frequencies over long distances. LVDS buffers are often used for point-to-point -point transmission of clock and data signals. Texas Instruments offers a wide range of LV PECL, PECL and ECL signal buffers and translator devices with speeds ranging from 300 megahertz up to 3.8 gigahertz. Here are some applications where PECL buffers are typically used. Data communications, medical imaging and automated test equipment. Why use TI speckle devices? TI's LV PECL, PECL, and ECL devices have been designed to provide wider frequency ranges, 20% lower power consumption compared to our competition. All of these devices from TI also have a built-in temperature compensation, which guarantees the performance of the device over temperature range. These enhanced capabilities are provided in industry standard footprints. One of our featured devices is the SN65 ELT20. This is a TTL to differential PECL translator device that operates on a 5 volt supply. This device also has a flow through pinout which enables easy layout and is available in an 8 pin TSSOP package. This is a classic building block for translation of signals. The second device I'm going to discuss is the SN65 LV ELT23, which is a low power dual channel 3.3 volt LV PECL to LV TTL buffer translator. This device has an internal input pull-up and pull-down resistor and built-in temperature compensation. This device is ideal for use in system clock distribution as well as interface between FPGAs and ASSP devices. To find more info on these devices and to request samples, please visit us at www.ti.com/peckle. Thanks for watching.